Okay, I'm going live. I can see uh, showing up on YouTube now. Hello, everyone, if you're there. Got my live chat open. I'm going to get started in just a minute. I'm going to uh, let people get dialed in. And there's about a 12 second lag. Just so I know. Still getting set up. I'm going to give people time to dial in because I still can't tell if my link for a live stream is also connected to the actual video. So if you click the link, you're on the right video. I, I can't tell from my end. Uh, so I just want to let you guys know. I'm getting my, my stopwatch set up. I had a uh, recommendation last weekend to extend the question time to one minute between. I'm going to stick with 30 seconds because it takes a lot longer to uh, get the payouts done at the end. Okay, so I got my one minute stopwatch. I'm going to go, go over the rules in a minute. The Elite Trance, I see you there. Hello, sir. Welcome. Okay. All right, we get some participants dialed in. I'm going to go over the rules here in just a moment. All right, we're set up. Okay, put this out of the way. Hopefully, you can hear me better. I had the gain turned down yesterday, and it's better. All right, okay, ready to get started here. All right, I'm going to. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Digital Fortress. We're going to play Cardano Quiz, a live video game show where you can win up to 750 ADA in prizes. I'm going to go over the rules first. I'm going to, I got to take a moment to do a screen share so I can display the rules. Make sure I get this right. And this window, I got the rules. Okay. All right, going over the rules, I will read the question and start a timer for 30 seconds. Please post both your answer and receiving address in the same chat response. It can be in any order. So if you copy your address and you have it on the clipboard ready to go, you can actually pre-plan and pre-post the address in the chat window and you hit enter or you type in your answer and hit enter. Please make sure that the address and the answer are in the same chat block. Um, a short Turk, I see you there. Hey, great job to the winners last week. I posted the winners from last week on uh the thumbnail from last week's video. So well done. There were six people that the 758 was divided among. All right. So back to the rules. Please post your answer and receiving addresses in, in the same chat response. The address and the response can be in any order. As long as it's correct, spelling doesn't count. Okay. As long as your spelling is pretty close to the correct spelling. But if it's a number, it has to be correct. The third rule there, the first person to post both the correct response and valid receiving address will win the ADA for that question. Uh, responses do not have to be in the form of a question. Spelling mistakes are okay. Numbered responses must be precise. A number has to be precise. And I have a suggestion. Set your chat window to live chat vice top. So if you go up there on your chat on the top right, it says top chat. Click that and set it to live chat. Then you'll see all of the chat responses and the addresses were posted. Okay. Uh, and the last note here is the game is licensed. I licensed my YouTube channel, CCBY 4.0, so the content can be reused in accordance with the CCBY license on YouTube. Feel free to copy this game, uh, recreate it in other languages and improve it. It'd be great to see it in Japanese and Spanish and all these, a lot of other languages. Feel free to do so. Feel free to contact me on the Cardano form or Telegram if you want to copy the PowerPoints. Uh, I'll just I'll send you all the PowerPoints and you can translate them into other languages. It'll save you a little bit of time on the research because it does take uh, several hours, a couple at least a couple hours to get the answers collected together. All the answers are available on the internet. Feel free to use the internet to look your answers up. Today's categories are Yoroi, Daedalus, Emergo, Cardano Foundation, and IOHK. So you can feel free to navigate to the website. Just be aware that if you're looking to the website, it may slow your response time. Just something to think about. Okay, so uh, there's the rules. Let me put that away. I've got a few windows open. I hope my laptop holds up. It's doing quite well. That's the rules. If you guys got any questions, uh, let me know in the chat. I'm going to stop sharing this screen. 
But yeah, definitely, if you want the PowerPoints, let me know. If someone can make this game better, go for it. If uh, you can redo it in another language, that would be awesome too. So I'll send you the PowerPoints. Just contact me on Telegram or the Cardano form, and I'll get those sent over to you in their original form so that the questions are already in there. Okay, so now I'm going to go over to the game, which is a PowerPoint presentation. Let me share that out. And happy birthday, Ada. Ada's birthday was, uh, oh, well, Cardano's anniversary, second anniversary was yesterday, September 28th. And the first uh, Ada block was minted September 28th, 2017. Bit of trivia there. All right, I'm going to share the PowerPoint. Let me make sure I got the right one. I do. The game, Cardano Quiz. I call it a PowerPoint. It's a PowerPoint-based game. And there we go. Up it goes. And I, I would also like to, to uh, say, if, if anyone wants to sponsor this game show, please let me know. I'm thinking of sponsorship fee would be 750 ADA. And I'll put your logo up there on that uh, screen behind me. That's a pretty low sponsorship fee. It'll simply pay for the game. It, that's pretty cool. And if someone wants to up the numbers, you can sponsor for more ADA. Like if you want to go big money, let me know. Uh, then the sponsorship will, I don't want to put it in my pocket. I'll put it in the game. Okay. So it looks like it's sharing out. I'm checking. It looks like I have lag time. Is that being shared out? It is going out. Oh, I've got to look over there. Uh, yep. It's going out. It is, oh, Mashur Turk says it is eating part of your shoulder. Yes. That's the technology. Or that's my, my microphone. It's uh, some type of technology that allows you to do that because I don't have a proper green screen. So please ignore the eating of the shoulder effect. All right. I'm going to get my timer ready so I can set it for 30 seconds. And I'm going to go through the questions, rapid and continuous, giving you time to respond. You have 30. I'm going to get the timer going and you have 30 seconds to respond. We're going to go in order, starting with the Eroi category. And I'll go down the list 10 through 50. Typically, the questions get harder as you get as it gets higher. I do have some random questions thrown in there, so be alert to that. So, uh, Yorori starting with ten Ada. Yorori for ten. We're going to start there. Checking that I got everything working right. Looks good. Looks good. Okay, is the audio good? Let me know if the audio is bad or if anything doesn't look right. Yorori for ten. Starting there. And this is a visual question. In the Yoroi wallet, what does this icon indicate? In the Yoroi wallet, what does this icon indicate? Start the clock. In the Yoroi wallet, what does this icon indicate? And uh, I won't try to call out who the winner is live in real time because last week when I went through the replay to look up who actually won, I got a bunch of them wrong. You know, I do make mistakes. So the live real time, uh, and it looks like Mashur Turk got this one. And I just said, I'm not going to do that. But I, eventually I'll get better at looking it up on the screen and looking up one here. All right. And that was 30 seconds. So the answer is Yoroi with Ledger. And if you said Ledger, you got it correct. Yoroi with Ledger. Back to the Yoroi for 20 points or for 20 ADA. Yoroi for 20 ADA. Question, in the Yoroi wallet, what does this icon indicate? In the Yoroi wallet, what does this icon indicate? And you guys, think about this. The next category is Daedalus. So if you want to use your Daedalus wallet as a reference, you might want to fire that baby up. Fire that baby up. Okay. Just a suggestion. It's not cheating. The internet is entirely available to you. And it looks like we have some correct Answers coming in. It looks like we got correct answers coming in. Powell Kusiak, looks like you got it. I do have to go to the live replay, and that's 30 seconds. And the answer is Yoroi with Trezor. All right. Looks like people got some people got that correct. Yoroi with Trezor is the correct answer. That was Yoroi for 20 ADA. Okay. Going to the next one. Yoroi for 30. Yoroi for 30. Question. In the Uroi wallet, what does this icon do? In the Uroi wallet, what does this icon do? 
It's very specific. If you have your eye open and you click on that icon, you might find the answer. Uh, the internet is authorized. Feel free to use the internet to look up your answers, but it might slow you down a little. And for anybody who just dialed in, please post your wallet address along with the correct response. And it, and it definitely helps me out. You got to put the wallet address and the answer in the same uh, block. And it looks like some people are getting this correct. 30 seconds. All right. Well done, guys. A couple of people got that right already. Transfer funds from Daedalus. Transfer funds from Daedalus. All right. We're on your for 40, right? Yep. Okay. We're on your for 40. Ready? Question. In your wallet, what page does this icon activate? In the Yodoroi wallet, what page does this icon activate? Yodoroi is fascinating. Japanese word for great armor. And the logo is pretty cool too. You know, I was like, wow, I could get tattoos of some of these logos. But I'm holding back. I forgot to hit the timer start. That was about 20 seconds. We'll go five more seconds. Looks like there are... Some responses coming in. Make sure my chat is uh, up to date. And we'll call time on that one. And the answer is general settings. That's the general settings icon. So I'm going to have to check the live chat replay. Let me go back to the beginning here. I'll have to check the live chat replay to see who got that one correct. And you can always win. If the answer goes up after 30 seconds and you're still the first person to post it, you're still going to win the ADA. Just give it your best effort to get the correct answer without waiting. Don't wait for me to put the answer up there. Um, that way it's more fun. <laughs> and you get to test your knowledge. Okay, Yoroi for 50. There we go. Yoroi for 50. Question. True or false? The Yoroi wallet stores the entire blockchain. True or false? The Yodoroi wallet stores the entire blockchain, 30 seconds. For anybody just dialing in at the top of your chat, hit the indicator that says top and set it to live chat so you can see the responses. The Elite Trance, post your answers here in the chat. So copy your address, paste the address and the answer in the same block, and that's where your answers go. It looks like I've got responses. I've got some correct responses in there. Shout out to James Kelly from last week. Uh, high score from last week. Score to beat is 220. All right, and that's time. The answer is false. The answer is false. The Uroi wallet does not store the entire blockchain. It reaches out to a server. There are servers that store the blockchain. And Uroi retrieves the information from there. It runs in a web browser. Okay. Next, we're going on to Daedalus. I'm going to check chat, see how everybody's doing. Yes, we have correct answers in there. Excellent. Excellent. Yeah, high score to beat was uh, James Kelly from last week with 220 points. 228. Okay. All right. Next one is Daedalus for 10. We're in Daedalus for 10. Question. Greek mythology, this monster of Crete had the body of a man and the head of a bull. What creature does this Daedalus icon represent? In Greek mythology, this monster of Crete had the body of a man and the head of a bull. What creature does this Daedalus icon represent? These icons are so cool. Oh, man. Cardano did a bang-up job putting together the icons, the history, all the involvement. Look like we got, we got answers coming in. The answer has to be correct. It has to be technically correct. Spelling doesn't count but it has to be technically correct. And that is 30 seconds and I'm going to get hit stop. I'm going to check chat. I don't see the correct answer yet. I do not see the correct answer. The correct answer is Minotaur. It had the body of a man and the head of a bull. It is not a bull. It is a Minotaur. Minotaur is the correct answer. Okay, Daedalus for 20. Daedalus for 20. Maybe the correct answer was in there for the last one. Daedalus for 20. Question. An elaborate and confusing structure built for King Minos by the legendary artificer Daedalus. Its function was to hold the Minotaur. 
indicated by the white lines in the icon, what is this structure? An elaborate and confusing structure built for King Minos by the legendary artificer Delis. Its function was to hold the Minotaur, indicated by the white lines in the icon. What is this structure? You have to get the word technically correct. You do not have to spell it correctly. We got five seconds left. I don't see a correct answer yet. However, there is a lag. There is a bit of a lag in time on that one. You guys ready? Did anyone get it? I don't know if there's enough people dialed in. <laughs> okay. The answer is the labyrinth. The labyrinth. The icon has multiple meanings. The labyrinth. Daedalus for 30. Question. A secure type of offline cold storage. What does this icon allow you to create? A secure type of offline cold storage. What does this icon allow you to create? 30 seconds. Sometimes considered the most secure forms of offline storage because the this device never really connected to the blockchain. It never actually touched it. All right, looks like we got correct answers rolling in. I still didn't see the correct answer posted for the Daedalus for 20. I still don't see it in there. It might be there. I will check the live chat replay, and that was 30 seconds. And the answer is paper wallets. Paper wallets. Good job, guys. Good job, folks. Good job, ladies. You got that one right. Next is Daedalus for 40. They get harder as they go up. Sometimes. I tried to do that. Sometimes not. Daedalus for 40. Daedalus for 40. This curious eight-legged icon takes you to a new page in Daedalus. What function does it provide? 30 seconds. This curious eight-legged icon takes you to a new page in Daedalus. What function does it provide? It's like an eight-legged ladybug. Kind of weird. But what does it do? That's the key. It's the kind of icon that's been around forever. Now, if you click on the icon, you'll definitely have the absolute correct answer. There are multiple correct answers. I'm going to have to assess who got it right first. The most technically correct and, that, and time. And the answer is help and support. You click that icon, it takes you to help and support. And from there, you have links to the Zendesk and bug reports. And all those are good answers. All right. All those are valid answers. Any form of help and support is an answer. You'll get credit. The first one who got that. All right. You're going to have to let me be the judge. Someone's got to do that. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Daedalus for 50. Next is Daedalus for 50. You guys ready? I'm going to check chat. All right. Looks like a couple of people got Daedalus for, for 40. Daedalus for 50. Random question. Random question. Wonder what this could be. How many Lovelaces are in one ADA? How many love laces are in one ADA? Start the clock. All right. Yeah, this is kind of interesting. You know, Bitcoin has eight spaces after the decimal point. That's a little much. Humans don't like that, at least not this particular human. Uh, eight spaces after the decimal point. Ethereum has 18. Really? Come on, guys. Really? 18? Who's going to use that? <laughs> That's why most currencies denominate, they'll put a decimal point in two digits. That will fit in my head. 18 digits after the decimal point doesn't fit in my head. And that's time. All right. So we have the answer is 1 million. Did anyone put 1 million? I'm going to have to go back and count the spaces. Someone definitely got 1 million correct. 1 million ADA. Or 1 million Lovelace in 1 ADA. 1 million Lovelace. Little pet peeve of mine. ADA is pronounced ADA. When I hear people say ADA, I just kind of go, Ooh, because it's a formal name for Ada Lovelace. Ada is the formal name for Ada Lovelace. It's ADA on CoinMarketCap. It's spelled ADA, but I pronounce it Ada because it's, it's named after a person, Ada Lovelace. All right, next category is Emergo for 10. I'm going to check chat. Any questions, let me know in chat. For anybody else who dialed in, just make a copy of your wallet address that you are going to uh, use, if you copy it to your clipboard and paste it in the chat, you get ready to hit enter. 
And what you do is you have your wallet address, you type the answer and hit enter and boom, you know, you could be the first person to get the entry in there. When I'm done with this part, I'm going to post the prize money wallet address. All right. Uh, so you guys know where that's located. All right. Emergo for 10. Let's roll. Let's keep rolling. That was a, like a brief commercial break. Okay. Emergo for 10. Question. True or false? The Emergo slogan is building a global Cardano. True or false? The Emergo slogan is building a global Cardano. I get these from the internet. I get all, all answers are lookable, upable on the internet. That's a real word, lookable, upable, it's hyphenated. They can all be reviewed from the web page. So you can imagine where the next four answers might have came from. It's possible they came from a certain website, but it can come from anywhere on the internet. They're all available on the internet. Looks like I have some correct answers in chat. Good job, folks. Awesome. You want to have the brightest people in blockchain. The answer is true. It's on the emergo.io website. Okay. Next is emergo for 20. You guys ready for the next one? Looks like some people got that correct. All right. Emergo for 20. Random question. Slogan is the world's finest made sneaker. The name of the shoe company with which Cardano relationship was recently announced. The slogan is the world's finest shoemaker. The name of the shoe company with which a Cardano relationship was recently announced. We got 20 seconds left. I see correct answers showing up in chat. I was so excited when I heard that yesterday. I was like, whoa, that's pretty cool. Um, you know, it's, it, it's progress. It's progress. I have family members who uh, that's one of their favorite running shoes or an avid runner. Okay, 30 seconds. And the answer is New Balance. Looks like many people got that correct. Someone said Hush Puppies. <laughs> hush Puppies, though, New Balance. Maybe Hush Puppies eventually. It's possible that it'll set a good example. Which one would just do? That was Ada for 20. We're on Emergo. That was Emergo for 20. For 30 Ada, Emergo. Question? The number of countries where Emergo currently has a footprint, which is currently indicated on the Emergo.io website, how many countries is it? Start the clock. The number of countries where Emergo currently has a footprint, which is currently indicated on the Emergo.io website, how many countries is it? Emergo is really growing. They're really growing. There's a lot of people out there involved with blockchain and Emergo. All right, looks like uh, we don't have a correct answer yet. Not yet. Almost time, five seconds left. The number of countries where Mergo has a footprint. Scroll down, it's down at the bottom of the page. <laughs> and time. Okay, let's see. Is anyone getting it? Answer, seven plus. If you got seven or seven plus, if you got the answer correct, you win the ADA. Somewhere between four and 20. No, I, I can't take that. <laughs> Sorry. You got to get the answer right. <laughs> or, you know, it's a number answer with a character. All right. I'm going to go for 40. I'm going to go for 40. Question. Meaning correctly sitting in Japanese. What is the name of the block explorer created by a Mergo? It means correctly sitting in Japanese. What is the name of the block explorer created by Emergo? I hit the lap timer on my stopwatch, so now I got to keep track. It means correctly sitting in Japanese. What is the name of the block explorer created by Emergo? Really cool names. There's another one. It's not Orboros. Oh, it looks like we got a right answer and time and time. Correct answer is Saiza. The size up block explorer. All right. Good job. Looks like people got that. Now, if you don't have your wallet address, you can uh, still try to answer, but I can't pay it out. So you're probably just going to give it away to somebody else, which is okay. It's the internet. All right. So I'm going to go for 50. Big money. I'm going to go for 50. Question with the focus on education. Emergo has launched Emergo Academy. In which country? There's a with a focus on education. 
Emergo has launched Emergo Academy in which country? It's a very specific country. You got to pick the country that the Emergo Academy has launched in. And I do see some correct answers rolling in. And approaching time. And there's time. And the answer is India. Good job. Looks like people got it. Excellent. All right. I want to, I love to see the correct answers. It's the response time. That's what we're, you know, we're competing for the response time. Cardano Foundation for 10. Next category, Cardano Foundation. A lot of these can be found on the internet, possibly the website, cardanofoundation.org or cardano.org or Cardano uh, updates. Could be any of those web pages. Cardano Foundation for 10. Question In which country is the Cardano Foundation based? In which country is the Cardano Foundation based? They have a specific country. And let's see if you can uh, get that one correct. It's a big world out there. And there's hundreds of different countries. And there's only one of them they're based in. Now, the employees are all over the world. Emergo employees, Cardano Foundation employees, IOHK employees, very global companies. People are located all over the world. All right. And that's time. And it looks like people got it correct. Spelling doesn't count. There is correct answers in there. The correct answer is Switzerland. As long as you got enough of the letters close, I can make out Switzerland. You got that one correct. All right. Excellent. Cardano Foundation for 20. Next up, Cardano Foundation for 20. Question. In which city of Switzerland is the Cardano Foundation based? In which city of Switzerland is the Cardano Foundation based? Now we're getting more and more specific. You can kind of get the theme of the questions. Let me get a sip of my tea here. Okay, 10 seconds left. Well, 12 seconds. Okay. Looks like we have the correct answers rolling in. Looks like we got answers rolling in. I don't know how the delay looks and which order they show up. And time, 30 seconds. Zug. Zug, Switzerland. Carano Foundation is in Zug, Switzerland. Carano Foundation for 30. Everyone ready? Ready on the right, ready on the left. Random question. The full date of the first Ada slot, slot zero, is also celebrated as Ada's birthday and has become Cardano's anniversary. The full date, including the year, of the first Ada slot, slot zero, is also celebrated as Ada's birthday and has become Cardano's anniversary. Now, the format you put it in, you know, Americans use month, day, year, and Europeans use day, month, year, which is the correct order in which, you know, so it's okay if you put it in European format, I get it. If you put it in American format, I totally get it. Don't worry about that. I will make sure the first person who gets it right is the winner. And time, 30 seconds. The answer is, whoops, gosh, back. How do I do this? Uh, the, the answer, what was the answer? What was the question? It was September 28th, 2017. September 28th, 2017 is the correct answer. And that was uh, Cardano Foundation for 30, correct? Now we're on Cardano Foundation for 40. Oh, we did that. I'm sorry. I clicked on Emergo. I said Cardano Foundation. I clicked on Emergo. Okay, go back to the beginning. My poor laptop is screaming right now. I've got all kinds of stuff running. Cardano Foundation for 40. Here we go. I still click on the wrong stuff. Cardano Foundation for 40. If it comes up blank. I know that's the next one. Name any one of the five objectives of the Cardano Foundation mission. Now, I'm going to extend this one to 40 seconds. Name any one of the five objectives of the Cardano Foundation mission because the answers are long type. Any one of the five objectives of the Cardano Foundation mission. It's going to take you time to type it in there. It's going to take a little bit of time to type this one up. We're at 30 seconds. I'm going to extend it by 10 seconds to give people a little bit of time. Five seconds. The right answer might already be in there. I think it is. I'm going to have to check the live replay. I'm going to stop the clock. 
And the answer is all five are listed here right from their website. Driving adoption of Cardano, shape legislation and commercial standards, growing the Cardano community, ensuring stakeholder accountability, and facilitating partnerships. If your answer was whatever the first answer that is as close as possible to any one of those five, you will be the winner. But I definitely got to check the live replay on that one. Cardano Foundation for 50 is next. Cardano Foundation for 50. I hear sirens in the background. That's coming from my place. I, Cardano Foundation for 50. Question. The foundation director, this person was previously on the chief of staff team at UBS, holds an MBA from Lufana Universitat Lüneburg, holds certificates from MIT and the University of Oxford, and speaks four languages, English, French, German, and Spanish. The foundation director, this person was previously on the chief of staff team at UBS, holds an MBA from Lufana Universitat Lüneburg, hold certificates from Massachusetts in Institute of Technology and the University of Oxford and speaks four languages, English, French, German, and Spanish. Wow, that took me 18 seconds to read all of that. I like to embellish the, because you learn something from it. You got to embellish a little bit. And time, 30 seconds. And it looks like, is anyone getting that one? I don't see an answer yet. I don't see an answer. Let me pause for a moment. Um, not there yet. Okay, the answer is Henrik Pfeiffer. Henrik Pfeiffer is the foundation director. And wow, does he have a lot going on there? There's a lot of qualifications and speaks four languages. No, you know, people speak a primary language. I don't know what his primary language is, but um, then the other languages you kind of sort of speak a little bit, but some people can speak multiple languages very fluently. My old friend Alex could speak at least those four languages very fluently. He would switch from one language to the next, and I couldn't even tell him, like, what did, what did you say? Some people are very fluent and can switch rapidly. All right. So back to the beginning. We're on the final category, IOHK, and the sirens have stopped. I hope whoever that is. All right. So last category, IOHK. For anybody who's joined the game show, you you can still enter and still win. You simply need to answer the question correctly and post a valid wallet address. If you just joined, go up to the top of the column on your chat window and switch from top to live chat at the top of the chat window. That way you can see the full play in real full play in real time. And we are on IOHK for 10. Everybody ready? So make, make sure you copy your address and paste your address. Then you can just type in the answer and hit enter, and boom, you got your answer out there. Question. An interactive visual and audio exploration of Bitcoin, crypto, and the blockchain. This ongoing research in initiative aims to bring about greater understanding of both blockchain technology and the expansion and contraction of the cryptocurrency marketplace. An interactive visual and audio exploration of Bitcoin, crypto, and the blockchain. This ongoing research initiative aims to bring about greater understanding of both blockchain technology, expansion, and contraction of the cryptocurrency marketplace. I think eventually ADA will be in there. Right now it's based on Bitcoin. Oops, I lost track. I didn't reset my timer. Looks like, okay. Five seconds. And uh, that's one answer. Three cents. What in the world was that? No, the answer is Symphony of Blockchains. Symphony of Blockchains. And we get that. If you haven't seen Symphony of Blockchains, you go to iohk.io, check out the Symphony of Blockchains. And that will take that'll give you a link that takes you over there. Okay, let's see who got that one the most correct. Okay, so that was IOHK for 10 on IOHK for 20. Ready? Here we go. Question. In addition to Cardano and ADA technologies, IOHK supports the development of this highly decentralized proof-of-work currency with the de facto mantra, decentralized, immutable, unstoppable. 30 seconds. In addition to Cardano and ADA technologies, 
IOHK supports the development of this highly decentralized proof of work currency with a de facto mantra, decentralized, immutable, unstoppable. There's a link to the .org website for this particular cryptocurrency from the IOHK website. They've got a team, I think it's Team Grothendijk. There's many, many teams at IOHK. There's like hundreds of people there in time. And the answer is, what is Ethereum Classic? What is Ethereum Classic? I do see correct answers in there. Good job. And I posted alternate answers. I mean, Ethereum Classic or ETC, the abbreviation is perfectly fine. ETC is a good answer. I'm not too picky about the answers. If I know you got the right technical stuff written down there, you're good to go. Okay. And the next one is IOHK for 30. Here we go. IOHK for 30. And let's go to question. A little bit of response time. Name any of the two core programming languages that IOHK is using to build the Cardano SL. One of which language was originally designed by Gordon Hoare and the other language designers include Professor Philip Wadler and Simon Peyton Jones among the team. 30 seconds. Name any one of the two core programming languages that IOHK is using to build the Cardano SL. That is the Cardano settlement layer. Cardano settlement layer, that's the back end of Daedalus and the blockchain. All right, and we're at 20 seconds. One of these languages was originally designed by Graydon Hoare, and the other language designers include Professor Philip Wadler and Simon Peyton Jones among them. And let's see if there's any correct answers coming in. That is time, 30 seconds. Oh, Nadine Karim. Nadim Karam got Haskell and Rust in his response. I don't know if it was the first response, but it is Rust and Haskell. Either answer is good. Either answer is good. Excellent, guys. Excellent, ladies. Good job. IOHK for 40. IOHK for 40. Question. Chair of Cybersecurity and Privacy at the University of Edinburgh and Director of the Blockchain Technology Laboratory this person is chief scientist at IOHK. 30 seconds. Chair of Cybersecurity and Privacy at the University of Edinburgh and Director of the Blockchain Technology Laboratory. This person is chief scientist at IOHK. So many people with so many diverse backgrounds at IOHK, Andy Mergo and the Cardano Foundation, but IOHK has some absolutely world-class scientists, researchers, professors, but people of all walks of life. And that's 30 seconds time. They wouldn't get it. Ah, yeah, close enough. There are some close enough answers in there. Professor Agalos Kiyas. And I see Agalos Kilios. That's good. No, uh, Nadim Karim, Karam got that one, but I got to go back and check the live replay to see who got that one correct. Last question and we are done. IOHK for 50. IOHK for 50. Last one. And the question is, in which country or state is Input Output Hong Kong based? In which country or state is Input Output Hong Kong based? Many countries and cities out there. Employees are located all over the world. Ada's birthday was in Plovdiv, Bulgaria yesterday, or Karana's anniversary was uh, main celebration was in Plovdiv, Bulgaria. But where is input, output, Hong Kong based? They got teams all over the world. Looks like we have, we have correct answers. Excellent. 30 seconds time. Answer, Wyoming, USA. Either answer is acceptable. America, however you put it. Those are all good answers. Thanks, everyone, for playing. That was great and fantastic. I'm glad you were there. I will check through the live replay. Try to get, I'll try to get the winnings sent out tonight. I keep a little spreadsheet um, just so I know who to send them to one transaction. So I get them all one transaction. Um, make sure you got your wallet addresses posted here. And let me uh, get back to where am I at here? Stop sharing. All right. And I have, I posted the rules at the beginning of the video. If you just doubt it, you can check out the video and a reminder that if you want to build this game yourself, just let me know on Telegram or the Cardano forum. Telegram is probably just the easiest. I go by Rick McCracken on Telegram. 
and I'll send you all the PowerPoints the, that I made this with, with the answers in it, and you can translate it to another language. You can make it better. You know, there's a lot of really smart and clever young people out there, and it would be fantastic if you could make a better version of this game or make it in a different language. So um, I'm more, more than happy to send it to you. That's a Dr. Stephen Covey philosophy from the seven habits of highly effective people is called the abundance mentality, where you, uh, th there's two types of ways of doing things. Scarcity causes you to hoard and abundance allows you to share. And I want to use the Dr. Stephen Co Covey version of abundance. So I want to get this out to everybody. If you had fun, if you have suggestions for me, recommendations for improvement, please let me, do, let, let me know down below in the chat. I believe it was Nathan Jones last week who gave me the recommendation to extend to a minute. That is a good idea. And I'm going to keep that in, in consideration on the back burner if this game gets really big or the stakes get really high. Let's say if someone decides, hey, I want to sponsor that game uh, and they want to put their logo up and they decide to put big money, I might have to make the questions a little bit harder and extend the time on the, on the responses. All right. So uh, those are just some ideas and thoughts. Thank you, everyone, for joining. If you have any questions for me, let me know in chat. I'm going to check chat here briefly before I punch out. And uh, I've got some feedback in the chat there that uh, it, it was fun. Thank you, Gustavo Campos. And thank you, everyone, for joining uh, Tof Daji and Mashur Turk and Nadim Karam, Emil B. Uh, Emil, you had some winnings last month or I mean, last week on there. Uh, there were there were six winners last week. And I posted them on last week's video on the thumbnail. And that's all I got for you today. Again, I hope you enjoyed the game. And y'all have a great day. Have a great rest of your weekend. And I'll get these winnings out. If I, if not tonight, definitely tomorrow. I could get a quick turnaround on these winnings. Thanks, everyone. Oh, and uh, feel free to hit like and subscribe. Uh, pass this game along to other subscribers. That helps the channel out and gets more viewers and participants. Take care. Bye-bye.